In this video, I'm gonna show you all the ways to type on a curve in Illustrator 2024 edition. Let's jump in. Now, if you wanna follow along with this tutorial, you can pause the video and download this AI file in the description below along with the font we're using so you can follow along with us. This template, we're gonna show you how to type on a path and a few other ways to do things. Now we're just going to start with this part and we're going to zoom in. Now this is a path, we've got a path of a circle and we come to the text box and we select, hold down until the path tool comes up and we select that. Now we click on the path and it drops in lorem ipsum. We're just going to make it a little bit smaller so we can see all the features. Alright, so, so you need to click the black arrow and you get all the features you can do to control type on a curve. So this is the anchor point, this is to help move it around and also on the also to have the text on the inside of the circle. Now these two here change the change how much of the text is showing on the line. So you can adjust those accordingly. Now that plus means that there's more text that needs to be put on the line. So just creates another circle. Do that with what you will. Right, we're just going to jump back to the beginning. Now one thing I like to do is have what I want on the curve already typed so I can just copy and paste it. So we're going to start with this one. We have a circle on the inside and outside because we want to have top sit on the outside of that circle and the bottom sit on the inside of that circle. So you're drawing two circles circles so that the top of the circle lines with the text you'll see what I mean so we'll start with this inside circle first we want to copy the text we want to put in there so I'm doing that by just control Z and then I'm coming into the path tool selecting path and clicking directly on the path and pressing control V now you can see that it's now I'm selecting the black arrow and I'm rotating the text around to fit where I want it to fit. Now you can do with a circle you can grab the anchor points of the actual circle but you can also use that black light the, the blue line we were showing before which is here. Now you can see how I've put that on the inside circle and on the outside you can see it touches the top of the font. That's the best way to get the font looking like it flows and it's part of the same center line of the, the logo or the icon whatever you're doing. So I'll do the exact same. I'll click the path that I want it on, control V, we're dropping the exact same text, grabbing the black arrow property, and then dragging it on the inside and rotating it to where I want it to sit. So fundamentally, that's that. You can fill it with the balance, but that's that. Now, another way to do it is what we're gonna show here is we're gonna copy that text and we're gonna place it on the path. So we make sure we select the path tool in type. We drop it on the path. Now, this is one I haven't seen too often, but I find this probably a more handy way to do it. Instead of having to draw two circles, you make the first circle the exact center of where you want the text. And then in character, which is over here in properties, but you can also go up to window and open up character. So window type character. We'll just come down here. We'll just drag that out so you can see it. And we want to come down to offset height here. Now with the offset tool in the type, we want to offset it so that the center of that E is in the center of the circle. So we're just going to offset that a few times. How many points would it be? Probably six or seven. You just click until it gets to there. Now I'm going slow because I've got screen record on and it'll fritz the computer if I go too fast. There we go. That's perfect. Now say you want the text down the bottom, you can control Z, control F for paste in place. Click on the text. Make sure we've got the black arrow and then drag that text in the center. See how it's in the center and then we can just rotate it around. There we go. I'm bringing that to the front. I'll put that um, shortcut up on the screen now. But we'll copy that path in because that's where we want it there. And you can see it's slightly off. That's probably because maybe that path is in the center. But then you can just you can just add or subtract just to center it. That's too many words there, but you can say you just remove the words text on a D. Then center it. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward. And the last one is on a line that turns into curve. So very similar to those two, but it, we're gonna show you how I just get a nice bend in the line. So make sure I have the pen tool selected and I'm just holding option until that little bend out icon comes up and you just get a very smooth bend by holding it and dragging it up. And that's how I've got these two lines and you can match the curves. Another thing you can do to match a curve is actually use the white arrow, shift, collect those, and then copy and paste those, those lines. And then you have the exact same curve that you want that matches the curve of the logo you're trying to produce and there's your path to type on to. So same again, all you're doing is copying the text and then making sure you've got type on a path selected and you're just dropping it on and then 
centering it. But we'll do the um, we'll do the other text too. So we we'll just go type tool first, copy, and then make sure we've got the path tool. Type on path, paste. Use the black arrow just so we can align by grabbing those anchor points. Same with the bottom one. It's that blue anchor point. Sometimes it gets a bit finicky. You see that little icon pops up. That's when you know you've got it. So. There you go, and we'll just do one last one. This is another way you can do it. So select the text, come up to Effect, choose Warp and choose Arch. And that's another way. I like Arch because it keeps the sides vertical, but then warps the other. So you can get the very similar effect that follows the same. You sort of just fiddle with the percentage of the bend to match whatever bend you want. And this actually bends the text too, which I like. And it's still fully editable until you outline it. So you can be fully edit that text. So. If you like what I've done, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll just jump to the outro now. If you found this tutorial helpful, you might find this one on how to turn sketches into vectors on Illustrator or four must-know quick tips on Illustrator. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.